Yes, we meet again, Gene. Unfortunately, again, another issue. Now, the, the news today is Boston is supplanting Columbus Day, the second Monday in October, in Boston at least, with Indigenous Peoples Day. Now, go ahead and give me the other side of the story, because we've heard Columbus is the worst thing that ever happened. He led to disease and slavery and pox and everything. Go ahead. Well, acting Mayor Janey, who made this executive order, is just now another useful idiot for Howard Zinn, the self-declared anarchist that wanted to attack America by starting it, uh, destroying its foundation with the founding of this part of the world and uniting the continents by starting with attacking Columbus. And he strung together all types of falsities, all types of things that just are completely false about Columbus, but everybody's going hook, line, and sinker into believing these false things. And just it's just not correct. Now, in Philadelphia, they tried to take a statue away, but a judge blocked them. That's under appeal by the city. They want to take the statue away. So you have the politicians on one side, and you've got the kind of the community on the other. What's going on there? Well, unfortunately, we've got the people that have been brainwashed since 1980 with Howard Zinn. You know, the NEA, the National Education Association, actually in their newsletter just last week is promoting Howard Zinn and the Zinn Education Project. It's been indoctrinated in our schools, and that's why young people, uh, even some older people, have been indoctrinated and brainwashed into this false thing about Columbus. You know, Columbus, of course, is an iconic symbol to Italian-Americans as an apology or an atonement for the terrible treatment and even lynchings that occurred for Italian Americans. But it's really attack on Columbus is really an attack on America because they're just trying to do what a Marxist or communist would do and take away our history. Now, you, you've have, you even have lawyers working on some civil rights issues. Now, Absolutely. You, say you, you cannot pit one ethnic group against another. Where do you stand with that? Has any progress been made on that? Well, that case is still pending in federal court. Uh, we filed that landmark litigation because Italian Americans are a recognized group under the 14th Amendment, and therefore substituting Columbus Day, a recognized holiday for Italian Americans, for another group, indigenous people, that is discrimination, the definition of discrimination under the Constitution. And that's what our case in West Orange, New Jersey, is all about. And there are other cases now. You're talking about the local ones that occurred in Philadelphia, and there are other cases that are occurring. And we tell people, don't sit back and let this attack on Italian-Americans and America occur. Fight it in your local areas. No, it's still a federal holiday. I mean, there's Absolutely. been no move to abolish that, at least no real move. This is sort of local stuff. Yeah. Where a town will pass a resolution like the mayor did. Oh, it's, a, it's the indigenous people's day. Brown University did this a long time ago. They were one of the early ones on this. We still call it Columbus Day up on Federal Hill here in Rhode Island. We're having a parade. But at some point, let me, let me listen. We've got to be fair here. At some point, Andre, when do we say uh, it's, the tide is gone? I can't turn it around. Columbus is in the closet. He's been taken off the pedestal. And maybe we just go with Italian-American Heritage Month and uh, no, that Columbus. Sorry, Gene, that's a complete capitulation. What other group, what other ethnicity is told who they can celebrate and what they can honor? Why is it just Italian Americans remain to be the ones that have to just accept these things? Listen, we have nothing against indigenous people, but they've already got two days in a whole month. August 9th, the day after Thanksgiving, and the whole month of November. This is just a ruse. It's a ruse to substitute Indigenous Peoples Day. we got nothing against Indigenous people, but why do they have to take away Columbus Day? That's such an important symbol to Italian Americans and America. Well, it's happened without debate, Andre, which I think, which I think right. is a nagging part of this. There's, there have been no panel discussions. We've had no uh, summits. There's been, there's been nothing as far as uh, a vote, uh, a non-binding resolution. There's just been get rid of the Columbus, get rid of the parade, and Janney signs the resolution up there in Boston. So that whole part has been missing of this, w- w- right. this whole thing, Andre. Well, and absolutely, and you've got scholars and authors that have totally debunked and disproven all of these false atrocities that they're pinning on Columbus. He didn't invent slavery. He didn't do it. And also, when he got to this part of the world, indigenous people, this was no Garden of Eden when he got here. There were all types of uh, cannibalism, beheadings, and all kinds of things. So l- l- let's not obfuscate what's been going on, and let's not just give in to this indoctrination that's occurred. Someone once said it's like turning the... the, uh, the uh telescope backward and looking through the wrong end <laughs> back at history you can't apply your modern day sensibilities to someone from that from the 15th century exactly uh, I, I don't know well listen uh, we'll see uh you might win that case you think in philly and then you've got the other thing with civil rights oh absolutely i mean there are other cases that we, we believe that our case would be precedent setting the one in west orange because it right. is based on the civil rights and uh listen if that if we get through on that one if we have to we'll go to the, every court we have to to get that thing to pass any plans to have a sit down with with the tribal leaders or indigenous people, or kind of a summit and discuss this, hash it out? Can we have what we want? Nobody want. We don't want. The thing is, I, I hesitate to use the way the word "we." I happen to be of Italian American heritage as well. Uh, I, I, to, we nobody wants a fight here. 
we well, want yeah, peace. But, we want yeah. it, was it possible to have it both ways? Uh, the indigenous people get the recognition they need their particular holiday. The Italian Americans who feel that Columbus's discovery was the great thing was celebrating, not all the ills that came from Western civilization. Is there any room to broker a peace here? There, there absolutely is, but not when they want to pit groups against the other to maintain their control. Don't forget, one, there is an indigenous person who actually wrote four books supporting Columbus, Rafael Ortiz, who can trace his heritage all the way back to the Taino tribe, which they yeah. claim was wiped out by Columbus. So there is the opportunity, and, but not when they want to pit people against each other to maintain control. Well, you said earlier in our conversation, why is it that the one, this can be taken away from the Italians? Now, this why has come up. In earlier conversations, why is it that every Italian American character on television or in the movies is largely yes. uh, is played with a dark cast or a mafia? Why is it? Well, I don't know why. Tell me, Andre. Is it because we've assimilated so much Absolutely. that the notion of Italian uh, heritage is kind of just a well, it's a it's a it's a fond memory? Uh, well, why? Give me the why. Why is that? Mm-hmm. No, you 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 really hit the nail on the head. Italian Americans, when they came to this country, the Great Migration, they wanted to be Americans and proud, and they worked hard to assimilate. My parents, I'm first generation. My mm. parents would not allow me to speak Italian out of the house because they wanted us to be American. And I think because of that, that's an overriding thing over generations to not express your ethnicity. But it's not fair because look what's happened. Every time you see an Italian American in media, mm. whether mobster or mafioso or bimbos and buffoons like in Jersey Shore, I mean, you know, this. this stereotyping unfortunately italian americans are the last ethnicity that it's okay to bash where there's no political correctness you know i have to i have to agree with you on that i mean the, yes. the litany of the shows mtv the, and by the way that banana paulie d he's a rhode islander and uh hey, the people at jersey sure they weren't, weren't even from jersey some of them weren't even italian correct uh that thing was a disgrace uh, but they just kept rolling along. It like it begat this it begat that there was a whole genre of shows and then yes. the, look the mafia movies I'm not going to deny the mafia doesn't exist or that The Godfather wasn't a right. movie, but at a certain point, I think it's just an issue of fairness. Okay, guys, you want to make a movie that's at least positive? Can you do that? And even NBC, you know, every every year they show It's a Wonderful Life, and mm-hmm. the Italians are portrayed in that as kind of, you know, don't be down on their luck, uh, uh, just off the boat, uh, garlic eaters, they call them. Now, yep. another group would demand, let me tell you, another group would demand that NBC lop that out. I'm telling exactly you, right. here you have to live with it. It's art. I understand there's another part of the argument. By the way, Capra was the director who made that. I get it. And a lot of Italians make these dopey movies, Andre. You know, we have to be honest with ourselves. We want to be honest yes. brokers. Uh, the Coppolas and the Scorsese's sure. and the De Niro's, sure. they're cashing in on it, too, including the woman who was the producer of uh, Jersey Shore. Right. So we have to be honest brokers. But I think we... Am I correct? No, absolutely right. They play into it. They do it for the money. Yeah. You know, the... There are 40 pieces of silver, of course. That's, that's what they want to do. But it's not the right thing to do. They're hurting generations of Italian-Americans that are going forward. And, you know, a, a young person goes to rent an apartment or join a club or, or get a loan at a bank. You don't know what the person behind that table might be thinking of them cause, because of all these stereotypes. So, you know, that, this stuff has got to stop. And you're right. No other group would, li- would let this happen. Andre Domino, we will have you on again. The debate continues, and uh, it's, it's been perked up again for this Columbus Day 2021. Andre's with the... Uh, Italian American One Voice Coalition. Andre, if the people want to contact you or learn more about your group, where do they go? What do they do? Very simple. Go right to our website, which is the initials IAOVC.org. IAOVC.org. Thanks, Andre. I'll talk to you soon. Have a happy Columbus Day and a good, uh, good rest of the month. Thank you, Gene. Same to you.